Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create uh, particle effects with Particle Designer and the new option in Quake 3.2, uh, which is uh, Particles Replacement. As you can see here in this in the demonstration, there is rain happening outside this window here, and as well as there is this very nice particle effect coming from the cauldron. Uh, for this tutorial, you're going to need Particle Design 2 and the one of the daily builds of Corona. Currently, uh, the particles in Corona just works with daily builds, it's not working with the current building, which is 2089, I think. Uh, so the feature is already available in Quick, but in order to see it and to preview it, you are going to need a daily build otherwise you need to wait for the next public build for from Corona Labs so but uh, I thought it was uh, a nice addition if you are currently a Corona paid user uh, pro or enterprise so you get access to this right now but if not you will need to wait a bit more to in order to use this this new feature in quick so this is again what we are gonna have a scene with particles coming from the cauldron and uh, rain in fact coming outside of the window. The way it works in Quick, in fact, is pretty simple. All you have to do is to create a replacement layer. For example, here in the cauldron, I set this uh, fire layer here. It's very uh, it's small but just enough for you to to see the particles coming from this side. So it's just a simple rectangle. And I did the same for the rain. I create, uh, this is the rectangle I create here for the rain, okay? So um, I also added a few tricks here. For example, I created this in front of the rain particles I create the front window and in order to avoid to see the rain coming in front of the the, rain, the window I also added um, this wall top here so let me show you this wall top here so this way the rain will come from behind it otherwise the rain would uh, be in front of everything I'm going to show you uh, and I did the same for the cauldron I create this copy of this layer here just to avoid in there as well as the wall button to be uh, handled in front of the original the original files so let me show you how it works. All you have to do again, you, you select uh, the, 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 the replacement layer that you want, in my case the rain here, and now I come to layering replacements and you see the particles replacement. Just click that and all you have to do is to point to particle design JSON file which I have here in my downloads. I have the rain one. So all I have to do is to point in doing so, uh, Quick will import the image and everything. I'm going to show you how to create particles in uh, particle design too in, in a while. But so, this as simple as that. So this is the quick part. And, and again, when you publish it, you, you see everything happening as as expected. And the trick that I mentioned that I did was to Let's say if if I haven't done this wall top here, let me just set this as uh, let me hide this and publish again. Doing so, it's very faint, but you see the rain coming from inside the room, and this is not what we want. So, just just this simple trick here. So let me show you how to create a particle in particle design. So this way you're going to be able to use this. Particle design is an external tool. It's, uh, it's a from, uh, from a company called 71 Square. And 
we are just integ integrate things and hopefully we are going to be able to sell uh, particle design from QuickShare's uh, store but we are still uh, discussing the details so meanwhile if you want to, to, to purchase it right now you have to go to their website and purchase that so let me show you how it works by the way particle design just works for Macs unfortunately it does not work for Windows but you can use the, the generated particles JSON file and image file uh, on Windows projects so this is the main interface. What I did here was to set the, the size of this to iPad landscape in order to match the same size of my project here. My project is a universal one, so it's uh, iPad uh, Retina. So in order to have the same settings and everything, I create this in the same size. And then I came here in the... Uh, the view and select choose background image so I use my background image from Photoshop just as a reference and then what I did here was to create two uh, emitters so the way I did here I created the first one here which is the rain one and what I did uh, I used uh, a rain one effect that it's already available in, in particle uh, design so if you come here to the, the cloud you can select one of the several uh, effects I already made and the one that I used I think it's called rain or fainting rain something like that I think it was light rain so when you do that it automatically come to to the screen so let me let me add another one here I'm gonna add a, oops not here remove uh, I'm gonna add a new system so it was created here the the full one is this uh, flare blue flare here uh, flare uh, but I don't want this so you, with that in mind you can come and replace it for any kind of effects that you want okay so this is the way you do so I don't want this again all I did was to create two systems one for the rain and another one for the, the effects and then you can work in sizes and in so for example I'm working with this one here I can set this for a, a large size and you see it's gonna spread from the entire screen so which is not something that I want I want this just more or less in the same area of the cauldron so I have it now and, and as I said, let me delete it and remove this this guy here which I don't know why it's not removing maybe it's a glitch in the system but anyways we are gonna need just just this two the rain and and the fire now, now it's gone okay uh, and we need to export them in two different files because we are gonna have two different replacements so first thing that is important to understand when working with uh, particle designer for Corona and consequently to Quake is you need to disable the embed and the zip ones okay those are the default ones so all you have to do is to click to disable you have to enable export and you have to enable the flip Y okay and when you do that you are ready to go all you have to do now is to click export and it will tell you okay I'm gonna overwrite rain and Jason the names that, that I did and uh, by the way if you haven't uh, renamed it all you have to do is just click and start to oops click and, and name it okay so in my case I have done that this and then all you have to do is to export you can tell the location if you click in this settings here in my case I'm export to the my downloads file and I'm gonna export in JSON file okay and again when I click the big button it, it tells me that they will export it will export it there and when you do that again you're ready to go into quick and use the new replacements particle replacement that I just show you I hope you like.